Hi, today I'm going to show you how to assemble the premium tough crate from Flambeau. We're going to take one of the first panels, we're going to make sure you point the panel outward. We're going to take a long panel, and these are going to be upside down because it's going to be easy to, to assemble that way. Interlocking features in the square features here, we put those features together. When you push down on here, there's going to be an audio snap when you snap that panel together. Once you have that together, it's very important that we assemble these panels together first because if we assemble a panel into the base first, you're not going to be able to get these parts together. Uh, so it's very important to get these four panels, these sides together first. Then we're going to take the base feature and it doesn't matter if this part is oriented this way or this way, it goes together the same way. So once we do that, we're going to take these, these are very big snaps that are on here. So there's aligning rectangular holes. We take those, we snap those together all the way around the perimeter and you're gonna hear some large audio snaps. If you do not hear those, you're gonna to wanna to take and hit these panels on the corners everywhere those snaps exist and that will assemble the part. Now that we have the base crate built, we wanna go ahead and build the premium part or the upper compartment. Uh, we wanna make sure that we go through the same steps. We wanna build the walls first because uh, if you snap any of the panels into the lid, again, that assembly uh, is permanent and we do not wanna have it assembled incorrectly. So again, we have very similar features to the top, even though there's only one snap, that is all that's needed on here. We're gonna align that snap feature to the square, making sure you have your hinges pointing out. We're, again, we're gonna snap those two pieces together and you'll hear an audio snap. The upper compartment is built and done and ready to accept a lid. So there's only a couple things left to do. We had the hinge pins that came with the part. We also had the latches that came with the part. So what we'd like to do is we'd like to assemble the latches to the lids. This only requires a simple snap. There is some uh, features here. You're going to see the three squares that are lined up inside there. We're going to take those and we're going to put those onto the hinge features that we see here. Those, want to, those, those you want to be on the opposite side of the hinge. So we're going to turn that around. We're going to put this feature into here. We're going to snap that into place. Snaps pretty easily. Now you have a latch that's attached to that side. We're going to take, again, we're going to take the lid feature. We're going to make sure that those hinges are lined up together. We're going to put that on there. Then we're going to take two of those four hinge pins that we have and we're going to line everything up and assemble that. There's going to be a knurled end and there's also going to be a chamfered pointed end. That's the end we want to insert into the features to get assembled. All you have to do is start from the outside. We get that hinge pin going in. If you need some assistance, you can take a pair of pliers and continue shoving that pin all the way in until it gets inserted all the way to the end. You don't want to see any of that pin sticking out because it's not inserted all the way. At that point, you have the lid assembly attached to the part of the crate that you need it on, latch it, and that part is complete. So once we do that, all we want to do is make sure that we align latch to latch and the hinges opposite of that. So even though there's hinge features on both sides, we just want to make sure that those are aligned. We're going to put the premium crate on top of the base crate and you'll notice that our hinge features are lined up again and we'll take the final two pins that were brought into the assembly and we're going to assemble those the same way. final step is going to be to put the rod holder on. We've got a number of choices for the rod holder. Uh, this is a pretty easy assembly. On the short panels, we have marked five recessed holes. Those holes interact with the 
screw bosses on here. You simply align the screw bosses and you take five of your screws that were, came with it and you drive the screws in from the, from the back side. You have two choices for mounting, either left and right of, of this panel or you can actually put it on the opposite panel. If you prefer them to be on the, on the front side, uh, we do have pre-marked holes. It's a small pot mark in the five locations and you only have to drill those locations out, remove those bosses and you can mount this to the front surface. Now that those are attached, the tough crate is ready for your next adventure. Thanks for watching this instructional video from Flambeau Outdoors.